guys welcome back to the vlogs i'm just gonna quickly intro you i want to get straight into the vlog because i love this vlog so much but i just wanted to explain the very first bit my boyfriend and i got invited to the allen hotel which is a new newish hotel in manchester i believe and we had a two night stay but i didn't stay because we had issues with the dog and a dog minder and he also ate a slug which was a whole nother story for another day but yeah that is what we're doing in the beginning of this vlog we had dinner there and we did a yoga session the next day and it was much needed it was so so good the hotel is beautiful the food was amazing literally like a day after that we were in london flying to sweden which was also an insane trip so i hope you guys enjoy here is the vlog This is very Suppose you wonder who I've called you for this meeting and in fact it is a ginger shot taste test that we will be doing today. It's an immunity shot from Feast and Flow, ginger, apple and turmeric. It was a very calming, relaxing yoga sesh. Now I'm thirsty, so I shall wait for my business associate. <coughs> shake, 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 shake your ginger shot, shake it up, shake your ginger shot, shake it up. Thanks for attending the meeting. You shall get a raise of 5.9% and I shall see you in the next meeting. Goodbye. We're going away. I wasn't gonna film until we got to the hotel. <laughs> but look at the car. <laughs> it's just picked us up. This is the most ridiculous shit ever. There's a full on table with Prosecco waiting for us. The table swivels, like it actually turns. We've got a TV, there's phone chargers here. I don't know if you can see what's happening right now, but my seat is reclining. <laughs> Glad you can join me. It is, oh, it's a bed. I'm actually a, a horizontal being right now. <laughs> Watch this. Oh. Oh, this is crazy. This is ridiculous. These curtains. These curtains. But yeah, we're gonna pop the Prosecco open. We've got like a four hour journey. We're flying from London Heathrow, Terminal 2. Um, I just, I'm a bit speechless to be honest. This is ridiculous. So I thought now would be the perfect time to do a quick intermission for my movie review of the month. Basically my initial plan was to watch the film I'm going to review right now in the car. But it wasn't available yet. But it would have been perfect because the car had the vibes. If you watch the movie then you'll understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I ended up watching Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon on Sky Cinema last night. As you guys know, I get to watch amazing new movies every month and share my thoughts and feelings with you. And I'm so excited about this film. Like, I remember watching the trailer and thinking, this is gonna be good. And it like exceeded my expectations. So Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon is about a young woman who uses her special powers to escape an asylum 
she can basically control people's bodies with her mind and yeah she escapes and then she kind of has to figure life out because she hasn't really ever lived outside of the asylum as a as an adult i guess she's been in there i think for like 12 years um and she meets some characters along the way and yeah she she figures things out um and she learns about li life on the outside because everything is just new to her honestly I don't even know where to start. The cinematics of this film, they kind of blew me away. It was it was the lighting for me, the way this film was lit, like visually it was just really engaging and like beautiful to watch. Like it's just really nice on the eye. Yeah, the lights, the colors, the shots, it was so good. And then on top of that, you guys, the music. I watched it with my boyfriend and literally every two seconds we were realizing that we had like our dirty bass faces on, you know, when you're just like, mm, it was, the music was so good, I had to stop and shazam almost all of the songs. So I'm gonna have to go and find like the soundtrack for it because it was just so good. Just the way everything was put together, the direction was insane, the acting like was amazing as well. It was essentially, I guess you'd say it was a thriller, but it also was kind of like quite funny, which was nice. It had like some comedic relief. So it wasn't just like tense all the time because we're coming up to October and I know in October I'm going to be like this on the edge of my seat every evening watching something scary. I liked all the characters and usually I'm not the kind of person where I'm like, oh, I love it when everyone's nice. And you know, it's very like fairyland Hollywood ending kind of vibes. But although it was a thriller, it was kind of like a feel good movie as well. I don't know. I feel like there was a mix of genres and I don't know how they made it all work so perfectly but yeah i i just thought it was a great movie i really liked the underlying kind of theme i think i expected people to be bad throughout the movie and instead i was kind of reminded that there are good people in the world it kind of like instilled or reminded me that people do have good values and good morals and a lot of them were like the younger people in the movie which is really nice as well i just want to encourage you guys to go watch this movie it was so good i'll leave the trailer link down below i will be watching it again more than once even if the film hadn't have been good like the plot itself which i really enjoyed it just visually the movie was amazing and then with the mix of the music oh I feel like it's the kind of movie that a lot of people could enjoy because there are kind of a mix of genres and then also it's like very artistic. It's made me feel inspired to like shoot things in different ways and yeah, I just feel inspired. It was beautiful to watch, so. Oh, there's a swap van outside. Anyway, back to the car, which, oh my God, by the way, what? And yeah, I'll see you guys in Sweden, baby. Guys, I'm not even joking. I've just found a button that turns the seats into a massage chair. in Sweden. We are staying at the Tree Hotel. As you just saw, we have to like go up these stairs. So we've now got to go back downstairs, unpack our suitcases, repack them into backpacks to bring them up. This is what we came up through. There's a toilet bathroom here. We don't have a shower though, which is absolutely fine because look at this place. That is so cool. But to compensate for that, we've got wine and coffee and stuff. This place is so cute. We're literally up in the trees. This little hotel room that we're staying in essentially looks like a big bird's nest. Got a little table. This is so cute. Maple syrup. Oh, we got beers. 
Oh, have we got beers as well? Oh, Oi, they've proper stocked it, look. Oh, I'm here for that. There's little candles along here. The bedroom. There's some like games and stuff here and books, which is so cool. And then it just goes back round to where the bunk beds are on the other side. We are so excited to be here. The journey was smooth. I've definitely been bitten by a mosquito right here already. But yeah, we're gonna head down right now and collect our things from our suitcase and bring them upstairs because we haven't got long before dinner. Guys, so the, we don't have a shower in our room, so we went, there's like a sauna, cabin, shower kind of vibe just by our hotel room. After dinner, we walked, well, we got dropped off there, we got out the cab, we went outside and we heard, oh, 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 big wolves. We heard like full on actual wolves howling in the night time whilst we were meant to go have a shower and then walk back to our room i mean it was pretty cool but it's kind of terrifying at the same time <laughs> i love it we've managed to secure the room but he still puts a chair above the door just for some extra security i'm gonna go take my makeup off try and get six hours of sleep and we'll see you in the morning peace Morning. We've made it to breakfast. We're in the guest house. This is where we were for dinner last night, but just out there. It's so cute. The breakfast looks good. The food last night was insane. Two little mini croissants, some melon, chia pudding, an egg and some salmon, and some apple juice. Guys, we've just arrived at the meditation spot and it is unbelievable. Look at this place. It's so still. lunch it was amazing so delicious now we're walking back from down there to get to the cars and there's two beautiful horses i'm gonna show you now hi hello everybody back in the room aren't we i'm having a tea to warm up we've got some downtime now so that's nice. We're going to take a little moment to shoot some more content. And then I think we're going to chill out, maybe have a beer or some wine. They've stocked the fridge up and the wine here is really good. So we're going to have a little chill moment and then we're having dinner in the woods. I'm so excited. Second outdoor dinner of the day. The mosquitoes here though are intense. But yeah, dinner in the woods. I'm so excited. It's been so much fun so far. We did some kayaking as well. Boo over here smashed it as usual. He was like... Speedy McSpeeders and he was like going backwards and shit. He was just good at everything. Also had a nice moment at the spa after the meditation. I don't even know if I got any of the meditation. Basically, I'm um, my boo's assistant. I'm not here on a work trip. I'm just assisting with the content creation for him, which I'm more than happy to do. I like shooting him and I like having these opportunities. It's so cool. So yeah, that's what we've been up to. Also got in a jacuzzi, which was so nice. I didn't do the cold pool because I was scared. I have asthma. I didn't want to get my hair or face wet because I knew we had more to do. And my hair takes like four million days to dry. Basically, I would have been freezing. We're going to finish this, go get some content, and then I guess see you at dinner. I've been bitten on the face. It's wham. <laughs> I'm upset. Not only are we shooting content, but I am also allergic. So that's going to be fun over the next few weeks. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Now we're going for dinner in the woods. Just packing up the flat. The food here has been insane, hasn't it? 
Mm -hmm. It's so good. I didn't film it, but on our walk in here, we walked past like this allotment kind of vibe. But anyway, they grow, I think they grow all their own food here. There was like kale and rainbow chard sticking out the floor. And you can taste it, like the food is insane. Update on the mosquito bite, it's not looking too bad. I put like a cold bottle of champagne on there and then had some ibuprofen. So fingers crossed it doesn't get worse than this. Guys, we're walking past the garden. I'm pretty sure that's an olive tree. I'm such a nerd. Chard, kale. And then they've got flowers here. I'm sure I saw these in the last two meals we had. So yeah, it's really cool. I'd love to be able to grow my own veggies and stuff one day. With you. With you. No one could save me but you It's strange what desire will make foolish people do And I never dreamed that I'd love somebody like you And I never dreamed that I'd do somebody like you And I This world is only gonna break your heart No, I, I don't wanna fall in love This world is only gonna break your heart No, I, I No, I, I Nobody Oh my god guys that is the end of sweden i have no words for that trip we got there in the evening and then we were just there for one whole day which you saw because we did so much it felt like we were there for quite a while longer it was such a wholesome trip i love learning about new cultures and going to places that i haven't been before i have been to sweden before but not sweden in the way that we did it but i've loved it both times and i feel like swedish people are so wholesome and just like real lovely people yeah it's always really refreshing to to be like in a different environment and amongst another culture i just i live for that shit yeah i went to help my boyfriend shoot content and he obviously asked me to come just to enjoy the experience with him which was insane the team and all the other people that we were there with were so just lovely it was really nice as well because it was like a very small group of people as opposed to like hundreds of people it was a very small group which made it like a lot more intimate and you had more time to kind of chat with people a bit more and get to know other people a bit more yeah it was just it was beautiful and the activities we did the meditation outdoor i'm so grateful that i get to do these things yeah and then the allen hotel was just beautiful as well it's been a great great few days so yeah i guess the next step now after we've done all of that is moving which we are having some issues with which is so frustrating but the next thing that you guys see is like moving vlogs and stuff like that as long as everything goes smoothly we're just having a little issue with the application form we're having like tech issues with it which is frustrating because it's just prolonging the process but yeah i think that's all the updates for now i'm a bit scrambled i'm tired after that trip if you made it this far comment the little christmas tree emoji thank you so much for being here i love and appreciate appreciate every single one of you you guys are the freaking best man i'm so grateful that i get to share my life with you guys and have a community that is interested in little old me and my life which just blows my mind to this day i love you guys and i'll catch you in the next one until next time bye Mwah.